Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, I'm gonna do my predictions for the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference Finals. I also have my opinion on how these teams got there and how I feel about it. And we'll see if I get these right. Last round I got terribly wrong, so we'll see if I get this wrong, but I feel like I'll be right. For more content like this, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, Road to 1000, let's begin. So we have this matchup right here. We have the Indiana Pacers versus the Boston Celtics. And just a quick, just a breakdown of what I think of this matchup is the Pacers, to me, have a Mickey Mouse run and the Celtics, they also have a Mickey Mouse run. But a lot of Celtics fans, in my shorts have been saying, man, other teams have had really easy runs to the finals. This is why they're the number one seed. And I understand that you get an easier road. That is not the problem. My problem is, is that you're, you both of these teams have faced extremely injured teams. The Indiana Pacers face no Giannis and Damian Lillard hurt. And then they face the Knicks who everyone should be in the hospital. Everybody injured on the Knicks. And then the Celtics, they play the Miami Heat without Jimmy Butler. So that's obviously going to be easy. And then they face the Cleveland Cavaliers who, you know, if they, if they beat Cleveland, but that was just like with Donovan Mitchell, that's fine. But they beat Cleveland and they playing like Donovan Mitchell hurt. Now it's Darius Garland. Like, bro, like these series, both of these teams have a great, strong Mickey Mouse run to this point. Like I'm telling you, and people like, bro, the Pacers belong there. I don't think so. Bucks would have beat the brakes off them boys if Giannis was playing. Beat them in six at the most. The Pacers have a outstanding offense. Their pace is really good. And they are the highest at the what? Best. I don't think they're the best. They have the highest offensive rating, I believe. Or highest scoring offense is one or two. But they're not the best offense of all time. I'm not taking this offense over like the Golden State Warrior offenses. But it's, you know, it's where the pace is great. But then in the contrast, they have an awful defense. So now they face the Boston Celtics, who are a more balanced team. Um, the Boston Celtics, this this run to the finals, if you tell me you're facing the Miami Heat without Jimmy Butler, then you get to face the Cleveland Cavaliers without Donovan Mitchell for the last two or three games, and then you face the Indiana Pacers, like, I don't know. I am never, I'm not going to lie to you. They said that Chris Paul's son's team had an easier road to the finals. I don't think so. <laughs> the Lakers got hurt, yeah, but they faced the Nuggets, and they were injured, but Jokic was, it's Jokic, like, they're still a good team. And regardless, and look, they had, they faced injury. They had a Mickey Mouse run to the finals. They faced a bunch of injured teams as well. But I don't know. I think this is easier. I feel like the Lakers, and when LeBron AD got hurt, and then you faced the you know, the Nuggets with Jamal Murray hurt, and then you faced the, you faced the Clippers with Kawhi hurt. I mean, that's easy, but I don't know if that's easier than this. Um, the Celtics should win this series. They're going to play around with their food. The Celtics are known to play around with their food. Um, they're going to lose a game, maybe two on something stupid, a bad Jason Tatum performance. But I definitely believe the Boston Celtics will win and they will advance to the NBA Finals. It is a formality. The Indiana Pacers cannot be in the NBA Finals. The NBA will lose ratings so heavily. Jason Tatum, you are going to the Finals again. And I'm just saying, I know they would have beat the Knicks too, but the Knicks versus Celtics would have been a much more lit Finals, Conference Finals than this. Um, the Pacers are a good team, but ain't no six seed. This Tyrese Halliburton-led Pacers team is not supposed to be here. I'm not going to lie to you. They're not a bad team. They're just not supposed to be here this far. That's my take. Celtics in five. But this is, a, hey, the best season Indiana's had since Paul George. So congrats on that. And now we have the Western Conference Finals between the Dallas Mavericks and Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, you know, funny enough, I'm looking at both series, and I'm just like, bro, no one would have thought this would be the NBA Western Conference and Eastern Conference Finals like it's been a big surprise and one of these teams is going to win a championship this year and all of them have been either all of them have been either in an extreme drought or have never won half of them have been in a pretty big drought and another half the other half has just never won um, Minnesota has been very impressive both teams have been very impressive actually um, I argue Minnesota has been more impressive I will talk start with Dallas the Dallas Mavericks likely gonna lose game one in a blowout and then win four out of the next five that's how they that's just how they function um the clippers would know like the clippers are a good team but they're just not good enough like you could tell they're just too old like i see the contrast like the clippers are just way too old and injured and just not it and the thunder are just way too young like the thunder you could tell they're a really good team but they're just not they're not there yet in terms of need more experience and that that to me was a big thing it's just lack of experience because these seriously they haven't been in the playoff series shea hasn't been in the playoff series since what 2020 season it's a grind like being in the playoffs is a grind and I think Dallas is having more experience. Kyrie and Luka Doncic are more experienced playoff performers. I think that's what helped them. But yeah, the Clippers were more of just, they're too old, the Thunder too young. But this team is just right. Like it's, you know, it's too hot, too cold. And then there's the just right team. Because they have a mixture of young talent and older talent. 
and with experience. So that is the perfect recipe for a team, honestly. And I mean, Dallas has that as well, but you know, moving to Minnesota, you know, sweeping the Phoenix Suns, I didn't think they would do that, but they sweep the Phoenix Suns and then they play against the Nuggets defending champs, which is definitely something you want to avoid. You don't want to play the Nuggets in the second round, right? But they played the Nuggets and they played them. So they, they beat them three times in Denver. That's, that's a pretty big accomplishment. What a hell of a comeback in that game seven was able to get them the win. And it was a shocking win, shocked me, but it was so impressive. So Anthony Edwards has really shown out. He's a very marketable person. He looks like he could be a main character. So could Luca, but I, you know, I want Anthony to be the guy. It's an interesting matchup, right? It's an interesting matchup because now it's different. Like, you know, Rudy Gobert, you know, Carl Anthony Towns guards Jokic and Rudy Gobert is more of the roamer. Um, here, there's no elite bigs. So, but I mean, both teams have pretty good rim protection. I think it's the battle of the perimeter, like the perimeter players. Carl Anthony Towns has to step up. I told you he had to step up in that last series for them to win, and he did. So he has to step up big in this series, and he got control. I mean, they got the defenders. The Timberwolves have Jaden McDaniels and Alexander Walker, Anthony Edwards, three capable defenders that can go after Kyrie and go after Luka. I think this favors Minnesota. I think the Mavericks, you faced a team that was too old, faced a team that was too young, and I, they didn't have, and Kyrie and Luka didn't necessarily have the best series last in the last series. I think they'll play better in this one just because they have to, but I don't know. I f like Minnesota's perimeter, their, def their defense is outstanding. And the confidence you get, there's two different confidences. Like you beat the Thunder, that's confident. You beat the one seed. The Timberwolves beat the NBA champs in their house. That's big time confidence. And I just think that momentum, you could tell when a team has a momentum that's more like riding. It's like, this reminds me of the Boston Celtics a couple years ago. It does. It reminds me of the Celtics because the Celtics had an elite defense. They beat the defending champs in game seven. Was it, it wasn't in their house though. It was in Boston, but they beat the defending champs. And that confidence, they may have, this will be another, maybe another seven game series, right? But their confidence pushed them forward to be able to win. So I think this will be a seven game series. I think this will be a back and forth affair. It'll be a lot. It's going to be two weeks of just slobber knockers, boy. Just the absolute rough, just battle. I picked the Minnesota Timberwolves in game seven to advance to the NBA Finals. And my NBA Finals is going to be Celtics versus Timberwolves. I could be completely wrong. This be Mavericks versus the Pacers. And that would be an awful series to watch. <laughs> but uh, I think Celtics versus Timberwolves. And I think that'd be great for the NBA because you can now push that narrative. Like who's better? Jason Tatum or Anthony Edwards. And I think whoever wins that matchup carry, carries America, right? All the foreign players are the best players in the NBA. But Whoever wins that matchup is the best NBA player in America. And I think that might be the NBA's new main character. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be exciting. Um, this series should be fun. It'll be like a world war. That last series will be like a cupcake fest. I'm not going to lie to you. But maybe the Pacers surprise some people or everyone. But yeah, that's my predictions. Um, a lot of y'all coming at me for messing up that Knicks prediction. But that yeah, I couldn't I couldn't tell Jalen Brunson and all the, and all the whole basketball team. Either, right? I couldn't tell. But. Regardless, thank you guys for watching this video. For more content like this, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. Ooh, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And hey, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.